time. Listen. Today, very definitive things are happening. You may or may not know. So I thought I'd just bring him the light. You know, us up in here in North of Samora, we, we tend to not give a shit about everything that's happening around us. So maybe it's a good way of highlighting some of the events. Number one. Tejamoka frontman promised Mukwananzi. Tejamoka frontman promised Mukwananzi. And his band of merry men today are attempting to impeach the president of Zimbabwe. They're in the Constitutional Court at 9 a.m. And they're attempting. <laughs> they have the these 30 year old dudes attempting to impeach the president. Now, I don't know how sane they are, but I fucking love their balls. I, I love I love their goals. So today, that's one of the biggest cases happening. The second case that's happening is whether Pastor Ivan gets bail or not. Now, the thing is, guys, you may not give a shit, but this is very, 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 very important. You see, even what I'm doing now is making videos with Facebook. We, we these case, these cases are now definitive, considering that. Our freedom of speech, our ability to come on these videos and rant and talk shit is being questioned. Now, I really like growing up in a country where I can rant and talk shit when I like. So today is a day when we'll see if a pastor who ranted deserves to be in maximum security prison or not. And today is the day that we test the judiciary to see if it's a banana republic or if it's a proper republic where the judges will see this, the merits of the case and say, you know what, let's give this nigga bail. He walked in, let him deal with his case on the 17th properly. So that's the next case that's happening today. Listen, my northern friends, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of work to do. I fear for my children. You know, I fear, I, I fear for our generation. As of 94 year olds who've never used Snapchat at the helm telling us what to do. I fear. It knocks our confidence, see? I'm a dad, I got three kids, man. But they still call me a youth. What kind of crazy shit is this? Right? They're 20 year olds who are damn near 18 years old younger than me. I don't wanna be a youth anymore. Come on now, people. I don't. I wanna be a grown man. But it's hard to be a grown man with my great-great-grandfather. And, and, I, and I, say I say this with all due respect because I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> but if our president had a baby at 20 years old, that means by the time he's 40, his 20-year-old son could have a baby. Which at the time by 60 years old, his 20-year-old son's son could have a baby. Which means by the time he's 80 years old, his 60-year-old his, 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 his son 40-year-old sons, 20-year-old son can have a baby. He would have great, 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 great grandchildren. <laughs> great, 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 great fucking grandchildren. And he's the candidate for 2018. Candidate. Like, they want to get this nigga another five years. Another five years. Guys. Linda, what's up? Listen, my sister Linda's really spearheading this 21 days of activism. Something else I'm going to shout out. Today it's about disability access. We walk around Zimbabwe. If you, if, if, you, if, you, if, you have, if you have a crime of being disabled, you can barely walk into a, get into a cinema in Zimbabwe. Barely get into a cinema. Or a restaurant. Or, or buildings of parliament. Or, 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 or council buildings to access services that you need. We need to fight for everybody right now, ladies and gentlemen. And disability rights is something that I really, really, really think is important. You know, I lived overseas for many years and there's no way you can go where there's no ramp or elevator or some sort of access for people who are less privileged. Check out privilege. Tea time. Have a good day. I'll see you at court. Those who are coming and those who are not, fuck you. You don't care anyway.